Hey y'all, I'm here today with another sticker haul and it is just going to be of the Paperly Boutique. So I just have two orders and then the November mystery kit. So I'm going to move the mystery kit off to the side and just show you the two orders. I'm going to show this one first because this was the first one that came in. So this is a little teeny order. So I just have the freebie that matches the uh, thankful kit. So you just have the new release sticker, a couple of half boxes, a couple of appointment labels, and a full box. And it just says thank you so much for your order. And then all the little bows in the corner of the sheets are a sticker as well. And I did pick up three of the glitter headers, the blue one, and then this is either the pink or magenta one. I can't remember which one. And then the yellow glitter headers. So now I have all of her glitter header options, which are the other colors I have purchased in previous orders. So I have that. And then I picked up and now everything else in this stack are all of the script font stickers. So I picked up two of the foam stickers and then I only picked up one of the edit stickers because I had another sheet already so I only needed to pick up one and then I got two of the upload stickers as well so I got have all of the film edit and upload. And then I decided to get five of the work stickers because I do have her work labels, but I also got her scalloped labels as well. And I figured putting the work sticker on top of the scalloped labels would be a cute little touch to them to mark work. So that is everything that I got in this order and then I also got a scratch card to use as well but I've already redeemed that so that was that for that order and then for this order right here is all Christmassy stuff so I just have two collections so the first collection, I'm trying to think of how I want to show these. I think I'll just, okay, I'll leave it like that. I got the gingerbread collection for the Big Book of Boutique. And actually both of these are Big Books of Boutique. But with all of the books, you do get a freebie double box. So you have the double box of the two gingerbread houses. And then for the book itself, this is the outside cover of it. And then on the inside, you have the full box, a weekly ombre, a couple habit trackers, some appointment labels, and some headers. And then her books kind of have a little bit of a reformat from her previous books. So now you have flags up at the top, a three heart checklist, two bill dues, quarter boxes, half boxes, and then on this page you have the little scalloped label, which the little scalloped label used to be on both pages, but now it is only on this page. And then you still have the little arrows, more appointment labels, two more half boxes, and a regular ombre checklist and then this page got a little bit of a reformat as well you have the weekend banner mini heart checklist mini icons and then little functional deco icons as well and then you can also pick up add-ons to go with the collections as well um because I know like some people they'll just pick up the book but then other people they'll pick up the book plus all of the add-ons which is which is what I usually like to do so I have the 
full boxes as well. So since there are the three full boxes and the book, the four here, and the two double box, I can easily get a full spread. But this particular book I am going to be using in my inserts. Um, but you do have the seven full boxes plus the double box. So if you were to use this in your Erin Condren or any other planner, like a happy planner that you would want to fill up all the days of, the add-on full boxes are a nice option. And I like how, like, the full box here, you can see the little gingerbread in the little jar and over here I have like the house the gingerbread and then the hot cocoa and then because I'm going to be using this in my personal planner I decided to get the personal washi I don't know which washi I am going to be using just it because I can only use one of them but I do have the two options and I like how she gives us two options instead of just one because we're able to pick and choose which one we want to use so I do have that and then the next collection I'm going to be using in my Erin Condren so I have the and this is the hot chocolate collection so clearly whenever I brought both of these collections I was hungry <laughs> so again you have the double full box or like the double box and both of them have the little like hot cocoa in them and the cup says baby it's cold outside and then for the book here it is the same format as the gingerbread one just in it with the different color patterns and <clears throat> so you again have the full box and this one says cuddle in a cup and then you have the weekly ombre habit trackers headers labels flags three heart ombre checklist bill dues quarter boxes half boxes little scallop banner those are not flags arrows more appointment labels two more half boxes the week not weekly ombre just regular ombre checklist and then the weekend banner checklist mini icons and mini functional deco and then I also picked up the full boxes um the full box add-ons the glitter headers and then the Erin Condren sized bottom washi so I can't wait to use both of these kits, which I know I'll be using these in the next few, couple, few weeks. So be on a lookout for that. And then the last thing to show is the November mystery kit. So just to show everything, this is what was in the mystery kit and then her mystery kits are they co always come in a box um I think the books because you can either get the uh, big book of boutique subscription for the mystery kit or you can get the uh, full size kit and I always get I always get the full size kit and the full size comes in a box but I think the book just comes in a regular standard mailer but I'm not completely positive on that but it always comes in the little paper and the paper always matches one of the colors in the kit and you always get these little like I don't even know what you call these little like decoration and because of the theme of the kit there were these little teeny tiny pine cones in with the box as well so I think I am going to be adding these to some of our fall decorations so these are they're like a really cute added touch and there is also an airhead in here but I of course already ate that 
<laughs> so I just wanted to show what the packaging was really quickly. And then as for the kit itself, you are not the kit, but like the mystery itself, you did get this paper clip and I think Alex, the owner of the Paper Lou Boutique, made the paper clips herself, I think. I'm, I'm pretty positive that she did, so I'm just going to place that up at the top. You probably can't even see it, but I'm just going to place it right there just to just to have it there. And if I can get the stickers out, I will say that the the mystery kit for this month and for the next months to follow are going to be in the new kit format that she has. So I know I've shown the mini kit formats, but I don't think I've shown a full kit format. So I will be able to show that here. But first off, there is always at least one featured shop for the um, for the mystery kit. So this month it is the Honeybee Shop. So you just have two full boxes, one with what looks like two friends, and I love the little fox on the girl's shirt. I think that's a really cute touch. And then the next one says, say yes to new adventures. And then you have two half boxes, and I love how there's bows in the corner of the two half boxes because it is the Paperly Boutique, so that's a nice little touch right there. And then you have a checklist and then a weekend banner. And then for the actual kit itself, again, this is in the new full kit format. So the freebie, whew, excuse me, the freebie is the standard kit freebie. So you just have the new release of sticker, the two half boxes, two apartment labels, and then the full box. And then this is the new functional page for the full kit. So you just have the flags up at the top, the large icons, the functional deco stickers, and then you have an appointment label, a three heart checklist, a payday flag, a few headers, and a habit tracker. And then the second functional page, you have a full ombre checklist, a weekly ombre checklist, two more habit trackers, a mini three heart checklist, a full box that says find your adventure, and then you have your weekend banner, single heart checklist, um, arrows, two buildos, another appointment label, and more headers. And then you have your labels page. So you have all of your labels with the top row being a little bit smaller than the two bottom ones, quarter boxes and half boxes, which you can never not have enough labels or half boxes in her kits now so like I know previously you might have had to pull in from a multicolor collection or pull in from other shops to put more labels in but with let's see what is it with 12 labels four quarter boxes and eight half boxes you should have plenty I know I will definitely have plenty and with this many options to use. I could definitely use the full kit in both my Erin Condren and my So Much Crafting inserts. I know this particular kit I'm just going to be using in my Erin Condren, but I like how with this many labels I will have that option. Um, and then the second page you have the little things and headers and they're all color blocked. And then you have the ombre checklist 
and then you have the full boxes and then I think the one with the bear and then the one with the pine cone probably have to be my two favorite full boxes I don't know why but I just I love both of the full boxes and then I also love the little pine trees as well <clears throat> and I like how they're two different colors because it, it kind of adds a little dimension to them so I just I really love these full boxes and I love the plaid in the two full boxes as well the red plaid with the pine cone and then the blue pa blue plaid right here and then you have the newly formatted washi page so you just have the regular washi up at the top the Erin Condren sized washi and then this washi right here is for the horizontal planner because the, hor the, the horizontal Erin Condren has to be thin little strips between the days that is what these are used for but I know I've used them in my so much crafting inserts and I'm pretty sure people have used them in their Erin Condren or Happy Planner or whichever planner they have as well and they don't just use them for horizontal planners so I do like how we have that option to use as well and because the washi here is a little thinner you could always take one of the either pattern washies or one of the solid color washies and put either like layer it on top of the Erin Condren washi or do the top and the bottom just to kind of add more like a little something extra whenever you put it in the bottom space down here because I know I like for my washi to at least cover the lines up maybe not necessarily cover the whole bottom up but at least cover the lines up so i like how i can use those as well and then with her like if you were just were to just order a full kit from the paperly boutique you would get all of these sheets right here that i showed you all these sheets right here plus the freebie that would be the regular full kit where you would order in the shop but the next couple of pages are normally add-ons for the kits if you just ordered in her regular shop but the mystery kits they come included I think these the two sheets that I have here they're just included in the full kit I don't know if they're included in the big book of boutique or maybe it's like a different format for the big books but the last two sheets that I have to show you do come with the mystery kit you don't have to pay extra for them like you do if you were to get them in the regular shop but this page is the date cover page so you have two sets of date covers and then you have more labels which like I mentioned you can like you have plenty of labels the way her kits are formatted now which I really love and then you have some deco up at the top and then you have the date date dots as well and then more labels you have the glitter sampler which before her glitter headers used to just be on like a sheet say like half the size of this sheet but now she is doing the glitter sampler so you have all four of the colors and then you have two rows of glitter apartment labels and a row of glitter quarter boxes and a row of glitter half boxes so there is obviously plenty to use in 
her kits now the way they are formatted. If I do have to pull in anything, it would just be little character stickers. So you are definitely getting a very good deal with the mystery kits. And even if you were to just order one of her full kits in her shop, you would be getting a good deal as well. But that is it for this haul. Let me kind of showcase everything. And then where's the other? Here's So here is everything that I have purchased recently from the Paperly Boutique. So I know the Hot Cocoa and the Gingerbread Collection are still in her shop and I'm going to try and have this video up either on, on Black Friday or either that Saturday. Like either on Friday, Saturday, or I might even try and have it up Thursday. So if you want to go pick up at least the uh, glitter headers, the uh, script icons, and the gingerbread and hot cocoa collection, you could go pick those up. The mystery kit is, of course, no longer in, like it is no longer available to buy, but the next round of mystery kits is coming up soon so if you do want to sign up for that you can but that is everything for I almost said this week's haul but that is everything for this haul if you liked it you can hit the thumbs up button down below and if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already subscribed you can hit the subscribe button down below as well and I will see y'all next time bye